Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 51. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, here we go. So we're going to start with the Magello Supercar Grand Prix. We're going to be taking a Ferrari. And so this is the race that I've been waiting this entire series to do because it's a 25 lap endurance race around my favorite racetrack, Magello. We're going to be taking the Enzo Ferrari. We've put on some rear wings and front wings. Uh, we're producing around about 450 kilograms of downforce. Uh, 150 on the front, 300 on the rear. Let's get going. Right! It is time for Magello in the Ferrari. We obviously have our splitters and all that, so the car probably looks a little bit naff. Ah, oh, so apparently this does have good acceleration. Oh no, I skipped 69%. <laughs> so yeah, this has nearly uh, double the downforce of that uh, Toyota Supra that we drove around Magello uh, for the S-Class World Tour. Yeah, the spoiler is hideous, but it's kind of necessary to make sure that this car is quick around these corners. It's not even... Oh, actually, no, it's substantially quicker than that McLaren behind. The only thing is, um, when it comes to lap 12 or 13, we're going to have to pit. Um, I think I'm going to pit on lap 13 because it means it guarantees that my second stint won't ever go as bad as my first. Because my tyres will be more worn out at the end of 13 laps than 12 laps. So. I'm not going to lie though, this is a really beautiful engine. I would love to own one of these. A little bit of a frame stutter on the OBS. I've actually been looking into a lot of um, professional YouTubers' content. Uh, people like Game Riot and stuff like that. To sort of compare how my content looks in terms of quality. Um, and I have noticed that when you record in a much higher resolution, the content looks better. So, potentially at some point in the future, I may upgrade my recording quality to... Um, 4K, but the only way I can do that is by buying a 4K capture card. So that could be something in the future that I plan. Um, but I have noticed as well, a lot of YouTubers that still use like OBS and stuff like that for recording, they do also have frame styles and no one ever notices it. Like I'm proper up close and look very close into my content and the quality of my content because I want it to be the best out there. That's a bit cocky. But, like, I don't want to have my content being half-assed content. I want it to be reasonable quality. So for me to do that, I need to make sure that I'm on top of it. If something looks off, I need to fix it. Uh, and obviously, the past few days, I've noticed that there have been occasional frame drops. Like, it'd, it'd be an occasional frame drop every minute or something. And it would drop, like, two frames at the most. Something that, to a normal viewer that was just sort of chilling there, would never notice. But someone who's proper close, sort of like how I was looking at it, and sort of, like, scrutinizing it, would easily notice. And obviously, I noticed it, because I was scrutinizing the video. And I was like, well this doesn't look right how do i improve this and i've been watching some other content i think it was the other day as well i was watching a stray video which is being recorded on a ps5 and the ps5 obviously never really has many frame drops with these games um but the what's it called um
the video had a couple of frame drops. And I was like, well, that's clearly the computer's problem. So it does seem to be like a more normal thing than I expected. Which is sort of a weight off my shoulder. But I would like to work out a way to try and eliminate it completely and make it like utterly perfection. Like there is no drops whatsoever. There is no problems, no nothing. And if I could get to that stage in my content, I'd be happy. I can't wait for YouTube to start actually like properly uploading 120 hertz footage. Because I mean, we can upload 4K at 60 frames a second. I don't understand why we can't upload 1080p at 120 hertz as an option. Even if we're not allowed to upload 4K 120 yet. But why can't we upload 1080 120? Because 1080 120 newsflash is half the amount of storage space as 4k 60. it just is that's how numbers work 4k is four times the amount of pixels as 1080p but if you're going from 60 hertz to 120 hertz you're only doubling the amount of pixels that are ever displayed on the screen so you know mathematically speaking 120 hertz and I mean, you look at all the iPhones. Every iPhone nowadays from like, I think iPhone 12 onwards is a 120 hertz display. Or maybe the iPhone 12 was 90 and the 13 was 120. I'm not 100% sure. But majority of Samsung phones are 120 hertz. Mine is a 120 hertz display. Uh, my monitor goes up to 165. And I'm not even joking, 120 hertz gaming videos, they look stunning. So why they can't have the option is beyond me. Absolutely beyond me. I also realise I've left this uh, race on easy mode. Because those last events were just ridiculous. I'm probably just going to leave the rest of this playthrough on easy to be honest. But uh, that definitely won't be an occurrence in Horizon uh, Motorsport 3 onwards, I don't think. Because Motorsport 3, Newsflash, actually has proper difficulty options that aren't unreasonable. So we should be fine, Motorsport 3 onwards. This is definitely an improvement over how Motorsport 1 did it. But Motorsport 2 still isn't there. Uh, we'll be in a minute. Not bad. About to thunderstorm outside, by the way. Which is good. Because we ain't had... Wow, we actually had a shit ton of rain yesterday. Or the day before. Waiting for the day that never comes. I love this Ferrari, by the way. But yeah, Twitch finally um, publicly announced what the uh, revenue split was going to be, which is a uh, six times increase to what it used to be, as long as you actually run a specific number of ads every hour, which is three minutes an hour, which is pretty good. I think it's a good move. It's, it's quite a reasonable number because when you think when you watch TV on like actual TV 
you'll typically have about 15 per like 12 minutes of viewing experience you get three minutes of ads so you're looking on average about 12 minutes every hour on television and i think there's a law that states it can't be more than 15 minutes an hour of adverts in the uk so we we'll put three minutes of stream into one hour of ads <laughs> profit <laughs> that is what i call stonks <laughs> but yeah we got we got laws in the uk that state that you can't have more than 15 minutes of ads per 45 minutes of viewing on, but that's only on national tv so technically speaking i could still run more adverts than that on like yeah private apps like twitch and stuff like that not that i'm going to because that's fucking dumb and unreasonable but like i'm definitely going to be i'm currently running 30 seconds every uh 20 minutes at the moment so i'm at one and a half minute an hour but it's going to go up to um, 10 minutes, probably after today. Because they've just announced it and just, like, invited people on. Me included. So, tomorrow's stream will definitely have an ad every 10 minutes. I know it's going to be a shock to people. But... I don't know what more else there is for me to do. Because at the moment, if you times the revenue that I'm getting by six just from Twitch ads, I'd be getting a payout every month. So, it's, uh, it's definitely a good option. Waiting for the day that never comes. Yeah. I'm in the grass. Keep it under control. There we go. Gracias. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Oh, free practice one highlights are out for Formula One. Probably not going to watch it. Because I've been way into watching the WRC. Which actually, for anyone who's um, been sticking along on YouTube, you probably wouldn't know. But uh, since the last recording session of Forza Motorsport, I've actually uh, finished watching the Estonia Rally. I think we were partway through it on the last series. And I kid you not, that Estonia Rally was amazing. Just watching the rallying is so much more exciting than Formula One ever, ever has been, really. There's obviously some exciting races like the British GP, but just in general, Formula One is a lot, a much more boring sport than it used to be. And it's also a lot more irritating than it used to be because of the amount of politics that go on, like public politics. Like, by all means, WRC, there's politics behind the scenes of, like, where the events go and stuff like that because of the fact that, oh, this country pays more money than this, that's fine. Like, with Formula One, that politics doesn't bother me too much. Sure, pay... if Dubai pays money to be the final event, so be it. It's not something that affects the sport. But, like, when it comes... What I mean by public politics is stuff like debates you've got christian horner stirring up shit within the entire formula one community you've got toto wolf doing the same thing you've got all the drivers constantly bickering you, it's just bickering it's a bicker fest uh, mucho gracias amigo si <laughs> but like you know with wrc there's just you physically can't bicker at anyone you can't blame anyone for anything there's no physical way of doing that. 
Because all the cars are pretty much level. There's no way that one team can be ridiculously overpowered in today's standings. Um, and it's all based on driver skill and if something goes wrong, the only person the driver can blame is themselves. I know I've said this a couple of times in streams, but it just had, it's just ridiculous. And I'm not even joking, but Charles Leclerc fanboys are some of the worst that I've seen. Like, I'm not even joking. When Charles Leclerc has a bad performance or anything like that, they don't care. Max Verstappen, they're really tame. But when Charles Leclerc gets messed up by one slight inconvenience, it's like an atomic bomb goes off. And oh my god, Max Verstappen fans and Hamilton fans combined cannot beat Leclerc fans with how savage they can become. It's unreal. The amount of Leclerc fanboys that were absolutely livid that Carlos Sainz got his first win. Why the fuck didn't Ferrari pit him? It was all Ferrari's fault. Like, well, it's kind of obvious why they didn't pit him because Leclerc was in first. And if they would have pitted, Mercedes would have pitted would have stayed out and there is a potential that that Mercedes could have done a better strategy they had to just wait and see what Mercedes did to decide what they were going to do with you know Carlos Sainz and obviously some Ferrari fanboy is going to be like that's not fair fuck off it's a team sport you absolute mug <laughs> McClurk as a meme because of different reasons. What? Charles Leclerc and Banana Leclerc and all that. Yeah. Charles Leclerc is basically a meme at this point. Right, let's have a look at our telemetry and have a look at all the statistics of my tyres and spin the car out and spin the car out. Joe Kuru. I do. Um, I've been watching I watch quite a bit of him in the background because his content is just <laughs> it's not like comedy if that makes sense but it's like he does dumb stuff in like Need for Speed and stuff like that so there's humour in that um, but yeah I, co I quite enjoy watching Kuro's stuff um I like watching, I, th I think Dustin Eden was one of his editors, um, and I quite l like watching his content as well, because he does a similar sort of style of just like, dumb stuff. But yeah, I'm quite quite a fan of it. I do quite enjoy um, enjoy watching him. Oh yay, I've been sent a Snapchat. Well, you must check out said Snapchat. I'll check it out in a minute because I can't be lost. Right. I'm also uh, messing around with the audio for today's stream, hoping. Watching Dustin doing 50 laps of Goliath at Forza Horizon 4 in a stock PLP 50. Sorry, how was that a two parts? Did he do like 25 laps and then do another 25? Or was it just an entire race and he just had to leave his Xbox on like standby? That's mental though. Mental, man. Dustin's actually... It, the funny thing is... So, um... <laughs> entire race in two parts. Fair enough. Yeah, Dustin, um... Recently... The, I find it kind of funny. So, um... I obviously started doing my Forza Motorsport 2 playthrough. About, what? Two months ago? 
uh, and he's just started playing. Like, Motorsport 2 hadn't been touched at all. Like, I barely see anyone playing Motorsport 2. It's just not that popular. And then Dustin's all of a sudden started doing Motorsport 2, which is awesome. Because a lot of people are actually getting to see Motorsport 2. But... Oh, yeah, isn't Dustin one of the head mod... Uh, not head mods. Uh, head developers of the Pavega mod. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, yeah, no worries. Uh, I won't be able to check it out, though, uh, until the end of this race, which will be in about half an hour, because this is obviously an endurance race. Hello there, Mr. Uh, Maserati. <laughs> I had to think what the fuck that car was. Maserati, Maserati. I'm gonna go up your inside Maserati. Right, we've got 11 laps done so far. We're still gonna have to do some laps on these tyres though before we go into the pit lane. Meow. 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 <laughs> you got a Discord I love it for some reason. Fair enough. There are quite a lot of memes that I actually quite like, so... I probably will have seen it, to be honest, because there's a lot of Charles Leclerc memes. A lot of, like, Formula 1 memes I've watched, so... There's a 90% chance I've already seen it. I still can't believe that the Ferrari FXX was basically just this Ferrari Enzo, but in a race model. And then they did the same with the LaFerrari. Like, I feel like fairly soon there's going to be a LaFerrari replacement from Ferrari. Like, because obviously they've done, like, supercar replacements to replace, like, the um, 458 and sort of that sort of supercar generation but like we're getting close to the point where these ferraris are actually getting the same performance as the la ferrari to the point that they've got to make something that beats the la ferrari and destroys the la ferrari soon before that sort of like supercar like hypercar part of ferrari just disappears because obviously you had the enzo which was like their push for amazing performance in a car then the LaFerrari at this point they're starting to make their supercars perform like the LaFerrari did and that seems a bit odd and I believe I am lapping first place that's what I get for setting it on easy difficulty but the difficulties in this game are very inconsistent so Like, I genuinely think there should be, like, a recommended difficulty mode. Where it, like, sets your difficulty as, like... Or, like, they put, like, a recommended difficulty on these games. 
Like, oh, this event you should do on easy difficulty. This event you should do on medium. This event you should do on hard. Because that would be normal. Because honestly, it's just so inconsistent with the difficulty. <laughs> you are playing on difficulty, yes? Yes, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Who knows? You have difficulty, right? No? Hmm. Strange. <laughs> oh, I've binned it. Ah, oh, bollocks. I had done so well. I was too busy trying to load up my telemetry to see the uh, tire wear. Just absolutely fucking binned it. I've got all this bodywork damage. Ah, oh, do you know what I forgot to do? Get a photo of the Porsche for episode 50, so I'm gonna have to do another one. Oh, that fucking Ferrari. There you go, everything is fixed. Time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you reminded me Kuro is another meme. Honestly, there's so many Kuro memes, it's unreal. It was kind of a uh, Kuru and Dustin why I sort of got the idea of gifting free subs because obviously Kuru and Dustin in their own streams are like their top gifters anyways. Um, but they gift out loads of subs to like chat and that whenever they finish a stream or whatever because it, it does bring the atmosphere of the stream up when they do that. Um, and that's sort of I mean, you, you could say I'm copying, sure. But that's kind of what Twitch streaming is nowadays anyways. Everyone takes ideas from everyone else and makes it their own. And that's what would... I think it's a good idea that a lot of streamers should do. Because it shows that you're supporting, like, the people... Sure, a, a sub isn't much when you think about it, but it's still the gesture of the, like... The creators saying that, oh yeah, you exist. Thank you very much for being here. Especially for people who can't sub for content. And it is a good way of saying, like, thank you for being here. Here you go. And especially when I've got, like, the sub perks that I do have in, like, the Discord server. I've got sub perks. Um, I've obviously got stuff. No ads emotes, the badges, all that stuff. There is stuff there. So it's a good thing. I should, after this race, actually uh, announce on my YouTube that I'm doing this stream. Completely forgot to announce it on YouTube. Coming up to about 4 p.m. now in the UK. When we go until midnight. Recording content all day. This is our third video, by the way, for today. I'm hoping to get about eight or nine videos done today. But the key word that I use there is hoping. Which means it probably won't happen. 
<laughs> oh, I breathed in too hard. I choked on my own saliva. <laughs> wow. Woo. Felt like I was about to die then. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Top tip, everyone. Don't breathe in too harshly. It's not recommended. Oh no! Beep beep motherfucker, get out of the way! Oh come on! Well, you've damaged me front downforce. Well, you've got no downforce. Hey, look, I'm taking my first place back. Except for the fact that they're still on lap 15. And I'm on lap 16, bitches. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Not bad. <laughs> there you go, hands. Oh, look! Want to become famous? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're always here in chat anyway, so I may as well. Drop a sub. <laughs> Stop telling me that I've just spent money, please. 
Ah, oh, damn fucking thing. It's annoying. Yeah, there you go. Ah, shit. Let's put one towards the free gifted sub. Oh, well. Could be worse. <laughs> but yeah, you're always in uh, chat, so... I sort of wanted to see how easy it was as well to do it, so... And see if I could do it through OBS when it actually comes to me actually gifting subs. And uh, apparently I can, so result. <laughs> Something cold. bad. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to uh, get rid of that, don't I? Oh! Now I've messed that up. Shit. There we go. For something to hold. Actually, was that the right soundtrack that it should have been? I think I need to double check my alerts. Because I think it was the wrong sound. So I thought that was the raid sound, unless the raid sound was something else. My phone is now telling me that the battery is low and I need to plug it in. I'm gonna have to do it on this. Oh! Come on, get back on track. Result. Oh no, I've lost my phone. My phone's fallen over. There we go, back on track. <laughs> it's always the worst timing that anything ever happens. Like, oh, your phone's about to die. Great. Well, I can't pause the game, so well, I can. But then it looks weird on the footage, so I try to not pause if I can avoid it. Fucking stuff. Hands, you might need to uh, refresh your browser um, just so that that sub goes through properly because uh, what it should now mean is that you don't get any adverts when you're watching the stream. Oh, you pillock. There we go. Back on track.
<laughs> Three icons, let's go. And that's the song, like, obviously, obviously it's like a let's go kind of thing. Yo, Blackout, what's up? Question, Blackout, what's happening with your Discord account? It's doing some weird shit. I assume you don't have access to your account. Because there is no way in hell that you're... You're going around spamming everyone's Discord servers. <laughs> I don't think that's you. That's not normally something you would do. There's a chain Discord. The fuck is that? Not bad. Oh! That's a bit control of the rear there. That's what she said. Bram, 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 bram. Going round the outside. So yeah, now if we get three more subs, we're gifting a sub at the end of the stream. Fun times. Where will you go from here? Go from here, where we go from here? Yeah. ring me. I'm recording Blackout. I can't be in a voice call. <laughs> Someone sent it to me and it's sent to everyone on my list. Ah, so similar to, yeah, there's a lot of those going around. Basically, what happens is you join the Discord server. Um, and it hacks into your Discord account and sends it to everyone. It doesn't do anything unless you go in and verify. Once you activate the verification process, it means that it gives access to that Discord account. It doesn't do too much other than the fact that it gets access to your account and it sometimes there can be personal shit that's on the discord account that's what they're looking for anything that can give them access to something and once they do that you're fucked Blow, 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 blow. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Episode 31 has just gone live. Why the hell did my mind think we were at 24? On the brakes. On the brakes. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Thank you. Back on track.
Why are we seeing breakware? We go live on GTA 5 RP today. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I just really can't get into GTA 5. I just can't go back into it. I've been trying. Yeah, there's, um... The problem that I find with it, and especially like 5M, is there's just so much toxicity around GTA. It's just such a toxic game, and by all means, let all the toxic people be in GTA, because it means that they're not anywhere else. Like, some of the most toxic people ever are on GTA and Call of Duty and stuff like that. And they can stay there. So, yeah, pretty much. Two oh seven point zero seven six. Cheers, game. Two more laps to go. Yeah. Toxicity just ruins the entire experience. It's why I really want game developers to stop focusing on multiplayer, because multiplayer it it introduces toxicity. Like by all means. Add a multiplayer mode for like Forza where you can hop in and set up some races and whatever, but don't make multiplayer the main focus of a video game. Because we don't need that. It ruins normal story modes for games. You know. Yeah, power abuse is just ridiculous. Like, the amount of people that go and... As soon as they're given, like, a roll of power will just abuse it. Nowadays, it's just unreal. Like, it's the sole reason that... Um, our old stream team... Basically turned to shit. Because you gave a couple of the wrong people the power to do... As they please. And they just abuse that fact. They'll twist rules to benefit themselves for certain people that they want it to benefit, but other people it doesn't apply for, and it definitely can't apply to them. And it's just ridiculous. <laughs> yes, yeah, smack him with a hammer. <laughs> Good idea. Bonk! Hands, we should get some uh, bonk emotes in the chat. <laughs> You've got access to those now. <laughs> I've completely binned it around this corner, but it don't really matter. We're at the end of the race anyways. Woo! If you go into the emote picker next to the send message thing, there's a bonk emote. Uh, it's basically a picture of me with a hammer in me head. <laughs> I'll try and find it. Hang on. This is it. Bonk. <laughs> there you go. Bonk. Dun, dun, dun.
Boom. 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 Not bad. All right. That was a good result, and I didn't get my thumbnail, so I fucked up. But we got some more Koenig's eggs. Woohoo! Poggers. I'll take my rewards, though. Thank you very much. Lovely. We got a Maserati racing car. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like the look of it because it's a Red Bull. Fuck. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>